so today I'm going to be doing a video hair tutorial on Gretel's from Hansel and Gretel the Witch Hunters. I went and saw that movie uh, last week I think it was. Absolutely amazing. I loved it. I jumped so much through the part at the beginning where the big witch comes out. Loved Gretel's hair through the whole thing. And I was trying really hard to find a still shot um, on Google or I was watching the trailer trying to get like a snapshot of what her hair looks like. I couldn't find any pictures online of it from the back. Like I saw the front part but not the back part. So this is pretty much what I'm pretty sure it looks like. At one stage I'm pretty sure she had a braid in it so I will show you how to do the braid as well. Through most of it she just kind of had this twist going on. So, And if you want to see how I did this hair tutorial then stay tuned because I will show you right now. So I've just kind of brushed through my hair and I have extensions in. I just got um one clip of, it's got like four clips on it but I'll link that down in below. I just have one clip of extensions in to make my hair look thicker because her hair just through the movie it just looks so gorgeous and lush and thick and long. My extensions are actually the same length as my hair because my hair is getting pretty long but I just want it to be thicker. Okay and the first thing I'm going to be doing is just separating my hair in half and then working from the front she's kind of got her hair um, twisted back so I'm just getting that part there adding bits and I'm just going to twist that back and I'm going to see if I can zoom up on my camera as well so you can see. So hopefully you can see, I know my hair is dark and I've kind of got lights on to try and reflect off my hair but I've just kind of added bits and twisted it back like that. I'm just going to use this kind of clip here just to secure it so it doesn't unravel while I take my hands away for a second. And then using bobby pins, I'm just going to kind of sneak them in where we've twisted our hair so it doesn't unravel. Okay, so on this side I'm just going to be taking that section at the front of my face and twist it. I'm going to twist it really tightly because it usually unravels a bit and loosens itself. So the tighter you do it, you know, it doesn't matter if it unravels and um, loosens itself, whether if you do it loosely you might lose the whole effect so I'm just going to twist that really tightly the thing is I've only got one clip so now I'm kind of like oh no what do I do so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bobby pin these in in just a second but I'm going to just take this over to the side over here where we've got the first section and then I'm going to join that into that clip there so it holds it nice and securely okay and now while this is secure I'm just going to my bobby pins in this side here just to make sure it doesn't come undone. You want to make sure you do the back part as well because you don't want that part to unravel either. See? You can also, I'm just going to tie this back up in my elastic. And then I'm just making a hole up here where the two twists meet. And then I'm just going to thread my ponytail over the top and through that hole. So, so there's my hand. I can stick my hand through that hole and I'm just going to grab the end of that ponytail and thread it through so you have kind of like this little loop-de-loop -loop thing like that, which is really cute. Okay, and as you can see, this is really similar to what she had. It's got this little twisty thing, and you can leave it at that if you want, or you can just go ahead and grab your ponytail part. You don't want to remove this elastic, though, because then your whole little twisty thing you did will fall out. I've already tried that, trust me. You want to leave that elastic in. Um, and I'm just going to give it a slight plait. You just plaited it, like once or twice there and I'm just going to grab an elastic oh no not that elastic grabbing an elastic I'm just going to secure it at the bottom there so I've just kind of grabbed a navy ribbon and I'm just going to tie that around the bottom hair elastic just to cover it up so you can't see it as much and it's really hard to tie this bow because I'm trying to make sure it's focused and in the um, camera and so I've just kind of tied a ribbon around the bottom hair elastic so um, you can't really see the elastic part. And you can do it that way, but I kind of personally prefer it without the plait and just kind of leaving it like that. And she did have hers more towards the back, but in one of the scenes she did have it over her shoulder. So, And it's easier to do it over your shoulder as well, but if you want it to the back, you just got to flick it to the back and you're done. Of course you can like go ahead and pull your wispy bits out at the front. You can bobby pin bits you don't like and secure them in 
like for me there's like this little loopy loop thing that's going on here so I'm just gonna tuck that back in and you can like just pull little tufts out if you want to look like you've been fighting people and it's just kind of elegantly fallen out a little bit a really cute hairstyle very whimsical very elegant at the same time you know you could add like little flowers in there that'll be so cute first thing you want to do is just spray the front just to make sure it doesn't unravel don't forget to leave a comment below telling me if you like this video, if you like the movie, I love the movie, and any ideas you have for future videos that you'd like to see. I hope everyone has a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!